long way to dribble, so let's see who's going to make it. But it is finding a path, it is finding a path through the robots. But now number four is approaching from Team Red. Number four is there, it can clear the ball if it's kicking now. And it does, and the ball is out of the really danger zone, so really well done. Number two from Team Blue approaching. CIT, Brain, and four did fall down, so now there's no one immediately defending. All the red robots knocked out right now. So now blue can follow up. If it's shooting now, it can actually score. It looks very well positioned. Is it scoring? Oh, not quite long enough. It needs to follow up. It needs one more to follow up. There is one robot who actually has a cable loose, it looks like, being removed from the red ones. Blue one can follow up, but the red four is right there. Will red four be able to defend? Oh, it actually chopped past the red robot. So now either red four can clear or a blue one would need to follow up. But it looks like both number one and number four from blue are in their own half, quite comfortably standing there, not really supporting. So four can kick it out now. Well down the pass to number five from team red would need to be able to follow up now. But blue is first and it's still in quite a dangerous area here. So let's see if blue is actually able to score now. They are walking past the red one. The red one is unstable and falls down. That's a good chance now for number two from Team Blue. Oh, but it's falling down as well. It needs to get up and it is again facing with it back to the ball. So it needs to turn around. This is a chance for number four. Can number four defend the goal? But now number four from Team Blue is approaching. Another robot to support. So number four and number four are fighting for the ball. It's really close to the goal line now. Number four can make one kick. No, but it was the red ones who actually kicked it out. And blue, blue retaliated here. Um, obviously, that was not meant to be. Number two can follow up. It's blue number two now approaching. There is no red robot in the way. If it's shooting now, this could be the first goal. It's shooting. And yes, it is in the goal. That is the first goal for Team Blue CIT Brains from Japan. Now all robots have to walk back towards their own half. All the red robots are already placed in their own half. So two robots from CIT Brains actually have to make it back to their own half here. Looks like they're doing this quite well. They will need to be outside the center circle so the other team can take the kick off. It looks like they're all positioning themselves quite well. Also the red robot number four is walking back to the goal area. And oh, number six is actually looking a little bit dislocalized here, entering the other half of the field. But number four is there to actually take the kickoff. So number four is five, fine. They are well positioned. They'll be able to take the kickoff. Now the ball's placed. And number five can take the kickoff. This is a good chance now for the red team to follow up. But there was a pass right towards number one from the blue team. That was very unlucky. So now number one can follow up. There is loads of confused robots, especially the goalkeeper, really confused on the red side right now. Not really localizing well, so it's another really good chance for the blue team. Blue number one. Oh, but they're both falling down. And now on the ball, that is very unlucky for the red robot here, trying to get up. It looks like all of the robots are getting right unstable here from the red team. And again, all of them falling down. They're all very eager to play the ball here. And they are getting in each other's way. Number one is up first. Now this could be the chance. No, it is falling. All of them are falling back down. Number four from blue is approaching. But getting stuck in its own teammate. He was really confused now. The ball is right in its back and has real trouble seeing it there. Number six from Team Red has trouble getting up, it looks like. And they're sh just kicking each other down. Oh, all of them are really piling up here. We see that the team con communication really not working well. They don't know who's going towards the ball. It's a chance for number two from Team Blue now. Oh, the red five, the battery has fallen out. That is quite dangerous, it has taken out. Good chance now for the blue team, but the goalkeeper looks like it's localized again. So red number four is approaching, but blue number four is approaching too. And red number four is walking to the side. So now there's no one defending. Blue number four has another chance of kicking now. That could be the follow-up goal. No, it was not quite long enough. Now six has a chance to actually clear. Will six make it 
or will one of the blue robots make it first? It looks like they've all lost the ball. So if Six sees it now, it sees it. So it can actually get it out of the goal area. All of the blue robots look slightly confused. No, the blue one has seen it as well. But the Six is there first. It can shoot it out of the goal area. It just needs to be fast. Well done. Clear out of the goal area here. But it has fallen down. And number four from Team Blue is approaching. This could be it. This could be the second goal right here. It is positioning itself. Again, number six seems to be confused in the goal here. So number four, if it's shooting now, has a quite good chance. But it also seems to be confused as it's not quite the goal area it's playing to. Oh, now it's turning. This is good. This could be another goal. No, the six is defending. The six is not giving up. Oh, really good, really good kick here. It's right in front of the goal. Now number two could be following up. Number two is going to take the pass. It is walking really fast towards the goal. Only eight seconds left in this halftime, but it could be the chance to score one more goal. But no, six is there, six is there first, and it's clearing the ball out again. Clearing the ball out of the immediate danger zone, and if that's the case, well done. This is the halftime break. So it is 1-0 for CIT Brains. But the game is so close. The uh, Red Robots are quite eagerly walking in first, but now CIT Brain is catching up and they're also positioning themselves. Again, a very good positioning, it looks like, on both sides here. Cura in red has now kickoff. Uh, number six really well positioned there uh, to take a kickoff. Number, I can't really see you. The first one here from Team Blue um, is trying to defend right outside the center circle, with the other being placed slightly more backwards. One second left to position himself. Unfortunately, um, the robot from CIT Brains didn't make it quite outside the center circle, and the feet were so slightly in, so actually the robot had to be taken out. Now, number six from Team Cura can take the kickoff. It has a quite good position. All these CIT Brains robots are quite far away, so if it does a good kick now, whoa, a really far kick, but unfortunately right into the uh, legs of the goalkeeper of the CIT Brains, who can now clear the ball. But there was a really short shot here. It really needs to get the ball out further of the goal area. And it seems like it can't really follow up on that shot. It needs to get the ball out. It looks like the Cura robots have trouble seeing if they're not really following up. So CIG has a chance, but now Six has seen it. Number six from Team Cura is approaching. And it's approaching fast. CIG brains the, oh, that was a shot right towards their feet. It looked like this could be the follow up. It looks like this could be the follow up. CIT brains need to act fast if they want to get the ball out. Number six is right there from Cura. Oh, now it actually shot it out a little bit further, but still, number six could be there first. They really have to get the ball out of the area here. Number six is slightly slower, so again, CIT Brains has an advantage. Again, picking it right next to number six. It looks like it's out of the danger zone a little bit, but still there's loads of CIT Brains robots there. It looks like actually this time it is going better because they're not all piling up. It looks like their team communication now working slightly better. They have decided she was actually attending the ball. But number six is there. Another shot from number six. Another really good one. But it was a blue robot in the way. So the ball actually did not go towards the goal. But a little bit to the side. So number four from the blue team is now trying to defend. Again, they are there much faster than the red ones. They have an advantage of actually clearing out the ball. It looks like, again, the red robots are slightly confused where the ball is. They're not really following up. But their kick is really strong. But the CIT brain seems to struggle doing strong kicks and are doing more dribble motions and really short passes here. Cura is really having a very strong kick. Number one of Team Cura now approaching and fighting with a blue robot. Looks like a blue robot is kicking the ball out. Oh, not quite, just to the sideline. But now again, we see all the robots piling up. So while the CIT brain seems to have it more under control now, Cura is still sending multiple robots in to try to kick the ball. 
looks like we might see it cleared. Nope, the ball is not quite out yet, still on the line. So Kira can still follow up and actually kick it back in. Number one is there to actually do it, is going towards the field. But there's also a blue robot right there. So who is going to make it first? It's both of them are trying to kick. Oh, but the one is getting more unstable. The blue one is not really stable in that position. But now the one from uh, Team Red also lost the con like side contact. Doesn't see the ball anymore. So it's now it's just shutting down, it seems. Um, so what's going on with that robot? It's just laying down on the field. Not quite allowed to um, be picked up yet. Now it is allowed to be picked up, so it is going. Um, it's going into service, actually. That seems like there's a hardware problem going on with that robot. So now Cura is one robot down, so an even better chance for CIT Brains. We are at roughly the uh, center mark again, or center line again here. So both robots, both teams now, have quite a good chance. We have two robots from CIT Brains being there, one with a back to the ball, the other one approaching. And now both of them, that one's actually standing quite in people's way, or in robot's way. Number five is dribbling though. Number five, that's a really good shot again. Oh, really nice shot. Not quite as far as we've seen before, but number one from Team Blue will be there first. Now is their chance to actually take the ball and finally play it back into the other half. Let's see if that's happening. Oh no, but again, we see them really struggling with kicking and now the other robot from their own team is approaching. That is not good, but it is keeping a distance. Oh, and that was a nice shot. We finally seen a really nice kick here from the blue team, who is now struggling with stabilizing with the two robots being so close. But the six is approaching. Six from Team Red has approached. And we know how far that kick is, so this could be a really good chance. This is a really good chance, but not quite far enough. The goalkeeper from Team Blue can clear it, but what is it doing? walking around the ball instead of clearing it. It seems like they are confused. So number five from Team Red could actually have a chance of approaching. There's another one from Team Blue. But it's also looking like it doesn't know where to play the ball. Oh, so it's really close. Team Blue really has to do something here. And it seems like, again, Team Red can't follow quite up. There is one robot from Team... Oh, they are destabilizing each other. Now it's a really good chance for number five from Team Red. Going to be able to make it. If it's now shooting, it's going to be able to make it. And that is 1-1. One, one. Team Sura actually made the goal for this 1-1. One, one. Everything is possible again. We have around four and a half minutes still to play. It's a really exciting game here. Team Sura really, really being excited here. What an exciting game. So all the Cure robots now have to make it back to their own half. That didn't quite happen. Oh, a timeout happened. Uh, so CIT Brains, the blue team, is taking a timeout. Um, we've seen the timeout from Cure before. So um, they already had the timeout, but now Team Blue is taking a timeout. So they are bringing all their robots back to the side and then actually servicing their robots. So we have another break for around one and a half minutes only that is left. It looks like Cura is also using that timeout. Um, they are changing batteries again. They're also cooling down their robots. They 